How's it going, guys? It's your boy John. Um, I'm here at a monastery in Mandalay. Um, because today is our eldest sister's month's end. Oh no, month's mind. I think that's what it's called. It's basically 30 days. I mean, it's been 30 days since my eldest sister passed. And we're here to sort of like donate in her memory and donate food, money, stuff like that. And we picked this um, monastery. And I'm here with my sister, my cousins, my nieces, all the relatives are here. Um, it's my, well, it's not my first time in this, in this monastery, but I've never walked around this place so i think that's the plan for today i'll give you a tour i'll give you a tour of this monastery how about that so this is the entrance and right away you have uh, a clinic this is a voluntary voluntary basis the doctor is actually here with us and you can see the Buddhist statues right there just keep walking there's a lot of trees which is really pretty really nice and this is the eating hall that's where we um, donated food just now and we had our meal also and right over here you have what looks like a prayer hall yeah it is a prayer hall with do you see those so technically this is a prayer hall and this is where people meditate you can see those mosquito nets um, because you know, when people meditate, they meditate for hours. And that's to prevent mosquitoes from eating them alive. Let's take a look. All right, now we move on to another floor. We're walking up the steps here. It looks like the monastery itself is really Big. It's just not like super developed. Stray dogs adopted by the, the monks here. Going up the steps. And this is where you leave your footwear. Because you go to hell if you walk around monastery or temples with your footwear on so oh here's another stray dog hey buddy hello don't bite me eh? what do you want get away from me it looks dirty as hell it would have been really pretty if someone wants to shower it right but yeah anyhow um, what appears to be monks. Oh, hey, now this guy's following me. Yeah, stay there, man, and lick your own balls, all right? Check this out. Wait, hold up. Check this out. These are all the monks. So let's walk. All right, so. These are the monks. Oh, there's a dog fight going on downstairs. And I'm just walking next to these monks. They're super tall. I don't know why. So the people would have to look up. All right, and there's, they're actually standing on pedestal. So these are pretty cool. Um, I think these are concrete 
statues, busk, what do you call it? Anyways, there's a lot of them. I, I didn't count how many. And the floor is pretty slippery and it rained this morning. So there's like some water, some, um, some puddles. Oh, look, this is the, that's the leader of the, oh, wait, hold up. That's Buddha. Yeah, that's Buddha and his followers. And um, I think that is the center of attraction. That's the main stupa. There are four of them. Four Buddha statues. Stu Those are called statues. And these are called stupas. That could be wrong. And these are the, the bells that you can you can knock on. Let me work on that real quick, eh? I don't know if it's based on your age or what? I think I'm 27. I'm not supposed to do 27 times, right? To be honest, I have no idea how it works. I just know that you're supposed to hit it. I'll do it three times. It's 12 o'clock, so 12 times? No, it doesn't make sense. bells are really well made and each bell has the inscription so these are the names of those who passed away and it says like it's donated in the name of someone else and it's a family donation their address and all that it looks really cool check this out If you look underneath, you can see the the thickness of the bell. It's really thick. It's at least two inches thick, and it makes a really nice sound when I when I hit it. Check this. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. So we should continue our walk, right? Let's take off my mask. Is, uh, I'm sweating and all the sweat kind of goes under your under your chin and got collected in your mask makes it a bit dirty anyways that's a lot of stray dogs here that's for sure first thing that I noticed the monastery is huge lots of Buddhist statues and stupas and whatnot <clears throat> my favorite part is this location it's surrounded by mountains, mountain range, because um, it's all the way at the end of the, the edge of the city. Oh, wait, hold up. I just saw another, um, s another lineup. It's the same kind of statues. Look, it's Buddha and his followers. This is my favorite part. Let me show you. I don't really have a nice view, but I'm gonna show you anyways. All right, so. That's basically it for this. I don't know what it's called. Prayer room? It's not a room. I guess it's just a stupa. Oh, look at this dog. It's so pretty. It looks kind of menacing. That guy right there. He has this mean looking look. All right. We are going to walk around a little bit more because I don't know what else this monastery has to offer her. Offers and tombs. Oh, wait. All right. As I was saying, I ran into this big ass tree. Let me show you. 
the top it looks a little bit better. Look at this tree. It's really huge. This whole thing. These are the branches. And there's so many trees like this here. Um, that provides really nice um, shades and cooling weather because of the, the numbers of trees out here. I think we'll look around the back, how about that? All right, so this is the tree that I was talking about just now. You can, you can see how tall and big and wide it is. And I think it's just more of a, more of the same thing, you know, um, probably the sleeping quarter for, for the monks and nuns here. Um, they're building, they're erecting new buildings here also so that they have like bigger capacity. As an outsider, as a normal human being who's not really interested in becoming a monk or a nun, what you can do is you can, you can come here for like a week or a month and you can, you can, you can stay here. I think it's free of charge and you get to learn all the Buddha stuff, you know meditation and whatnot meditation retreat that's what it's called yeah they take those in so more buildings means they can take more people it's good guys i've decided to venture outside of this uh, monastery and check out the surrounding so the reason i came out here was because i saw a trail you see that trail right there? I saw that trail and the first thought that came in my head was like, I gotta follow it. There's another one right here. I think it's probably, at least probably down to the same path. Right there, right there, yeah. And the, the monk in charge of this whole monastery, like who founded the entire monastery, he was looking into expanding. So that right there is the new wing that is still in progress. Still in the work. I don't know if I can climb up. Maybe I can go up. No one's around. So the worst thing that could happen, two scenarios, one of which is that I get scolded by a monk and then I would come back down, walk back down and the other option is that the building collapse and I die. So nothing to lose, right? So let's go up. So that's the monastery that we were at just now, right there. And this is a new building. They're building a lot of buildings, a lot of new buildings. So this is called Parmi Seba Barahitat Chaum. But it's still under this monastery. This is a new wing. And this is the construction site. I think these are the stilt um, that are used to hoist up those um, structure so that they could pour the concrete down and check out the, the building qualities. It's pretty crappy. Oh, it's trash everywhere. Piles of garbage. Let's take a better look, okay? Hopefully I don't get scolded. Well, it's gonna be a nice view. I can, I can assure you guys. Ah, the building quality, man. Everywhere I look in this goddamn country, it's just crap. It's like they don't even care. Check this out. All right, the sun just came out, so it's getting pretty hot outside, but I just want to give you guys a glimpse of like, why I love this place so much, even though it's, it's in the middle of nowhere. Look at the mountain range. Don't look at the trash or the construction site, eh? Look at this mountain range. It's surrounded by a mountain. 
and forest because it's in the jungle. I love this place so much. And this is me. Okay. Gosh, I've only been up here for like 10 minutes in total. And I start sweating. It's only like one minute after the sun came out. So the heat is real, man. Thankfully, I got myself a small bottle of water. Wow. Wow. Aqua. I'm just contemplating if I should sit on top of this pile of pebbles. But probably not. I'm just gonna go back in under the shade. Oh, there's a there's another entrance to the monastery. Maybe I'll go in here. Walking back towards the monastery. I'll try to open up the water. Don't get rid of the plastic wrap that, that comes off from the, from the cap. Keep it in your pocket until you find a, a trash can. Otherwise, you know what happens. Climate change. Oh, wait, I haven't actually gone up to this path. You know, let me check if we're, if we're leaving soon. And if we're not, I'll come back out and record another one.